Welcome. We're going to be talking about enlivening the six sets of relationship. This is a technique that we learned in the course of love, and it is closely related to the enlivenment of the 27 wheels of Genesis. Some of you have already watched the video on that technique. If you haven't, don't worry, you can still just continue watching this video. You'll get all the instructions you need in this video. This aspect of enlivening the wheels of Genesis, we use the creating technique to enliven the wheels of Genesis, thereby enlivening specific values within our lives. But when we enliven the six sets of relationship, we still enliven the wheels of Genesis. It's just that the wheels are divided into six different sets, and we enliven them in a very specific order to achieve different results in our lives. And this is important. In the Course of Love, Lanto spoke about the importance of doing this. He said, this is the process for the enlivenment of the entire realm of relationship. Ultimate fulfillment comes from the recognition of all values of relationship, the enlivenment of all values of relationship. So this is going to be a very beneficial technique. It is easy and involves the use of the creating technique. There are just some very basic instructions for us to go over before we get started. It will be beneficial, in fact it will probably be necessary, for you to go ahead and print out the instruction sheet that is on the website that contains this video. You may want to do that before we get started. The instructions will be the same for each set of relationship. Enlivening each set of relationship involves the enlivenment of specific wheels of Genesis. You will sit within a circle of wheels. You will sit beneath the great seal of Genesis. If you have a chamber of eternal light, it is beneficial to be seated above the chamber of eternal light. You will have a pyramid and a wheel of hope in front of you. This would be what you would normally have for the creating practice anyway. You will take your pendant of eternal light and hold it in your left hand. And then you will have a pocket seal to hold along with any wheel that you are enlivening in your right hand. Now the positioning of the tools is very specific and important. When you are directed to take a specific wheel and put it in your right hand, you will take the wheel and place it in your open right hand in the palm of your right hand. The wheel will always have the raised spiral ridges facing upward away from the palm of your hand, the indented spiral crevices facing downward against the palm of your hand. If the wheel is a progress wheel, it has a smooth backside, raised spiral ridges on the front side. That front side with the raised ridges will go upwards. The smooth backside is, goes down against the palm of your hand. If you are using a transformation wheel, it has a smooth backside, and on the front side it has indented spiral crevices. Those indented spiral crevices will go down against the palm of your hand. The smooth backside faces upward. If it is a regeneration wheel that you are enlivening, it has raised spiral ridges on one side and indented spiral crevices on the back side. For these wheels, you take the side with the indented spiral crevices, the, that side will go facing down against the palm of your hand. The side with the raised spiral ridges faces upwards, away from the palm of your hand. So always, if the wheel has raised spiral ridges, that side with the raised spiral ridges will face upwards, away from the palm of your hand. And always, if the wheel has indented spiral crevices, that side faces downward against the palm of your hand. 
Once you have placed the wheel in your open palm of your right hand, you will then take the pocket seal. The level side, the flat side, goes against the wheel, allowing the side with the raised spirals to face upwards. Now, if you simply hold your hand flat, the pocket seal is going to fall out and you will be distracted by trying to balance it. You won't close your palm completely, but you will cup the wheel and the pocket seal with your fingers. So in your left hand, you have the pendant of eternal light and you will close that hand completely, but in your right hand, you won't close the hand completely. You'll just cup gently the wheel and the pocket seal with your fingers. Then you will use the creating practice, the creating technique. You will use for your desire, the specific desire that Lantos has given for each individual wheel that you will be enlivening for that set of relationship. For example, the first set of relationship. This is the physical as it relates to the physical. Now let us read from our handout what Lantos has said. Communion, that value of complete union, fullness of union, union on every level, may be achieved through experiencing relationship on the three basic levels of expression. The body or physical level, the mental level, and the level of the spirit. So the physical level as it relates to the physical level, this is our first set of relationship. Lanta said the experience of the relationship between objects, between people. Enlivening this level will enhance the health of the body. It will promote physical well-being, comforts on the physical level of the surroundings. So how do we enliven the physical set the set number one, the physical, as it relates to the physical. We enliven three specific wheels, the clear regeneration wheel, then the sunrise energy progress wheel, then the dark violet progress wheel. And we do it in that order. So again, we have our circle of wheels around us. We have our pyramid and wheel of hope in front of us for the creating practice. We have our pendant of eternal light to hold in our left hand. We have the pocket seal that we will hold in the right hand along with whatever wheel we need to enliven at that moment. For this first set, the physical to the physical, we begin with clear regeneration. So we take our clear regeneration wheel, we place it in the right hand, in the palm of the right hand. So again, the indented spiral crevices face downward against the palm the raised spiral ridges face upward, away from the palm. Then we take the pocket seal, the level side goes against the wheel, the side with the raised spirals faces upwards. Then we can gently cup our fingers around those that wheel and that tool. We begin our creating practice and we will use the desire for the clear regeneration wheel which is holy waters, holy waters. Remember the three steps in the process of creating, the purification of the desire, then the visualization of the blue, pink, and yellow, the threefold aspect of the source of creation to enliven that connection with the source of creation. Then returning our attention back onto the heart and specifically the warmth within the heart and reintroducing within the warmth within the heart our desire. For this, we will allow one to two minutes. Enlivening each wheel will take only one to two minutes for each wheel. So with our clear regeneration wheel, we would start out with the desire, holy waters. We would give several seconds, some time for the purification. Then we would envision, we would visualize the blue, pink, and yellow we would allow some time with the visualization of the blue, pink, and yellow so that we could feel something within our heart, warmth within the heart. 
Then once we feel that, we bring our attention from the blue, pink, and yellow back onto the heart and the warmth within the heart, and we reintroduce the desire, holy waters. We continue to focus on the heart and the warmth within the heart, and then we reintroduce the desire again, holy waters. We continue to focus on the heart, the warmth within the heart, and we reintroduce the desire again, holy waters. We do that, then we set the wheel back in the circle of wheels. We will now move on to the second wheel in this set of enlivening the physical to the physical. That is the Sunrise Energy Progress Wheel. We place it in the palm of our right hand. We take the pocket seal, put it on top of it. And then we go ahead and do the creating practice, the creating technique. This time, we will enliven this wheel using the desire energy. This will be our desire for this wheel, energy. Once we finish this wheel, we put it back in the circle and we pick up the dark violet progress wheel. We hold it in the palm of our right hand. We take the pocket seal, place it on top of the wheel, allow our fingers just to gently cup that wheel and that tool to keep them in place. Then we again resume our creating technique. And we use for this wheel the desire transformation. Transformation is the desire that we will use to enliven dark violet progress. Once we have completed that, we will then have completed the enlivenment of the physical level to the physical level. We then move on to the second set of relationship. This is the physical to the mental, enlivening the physical level as it relates to the mental level. For this, Lanta said, this pertains to aspirations and goals. Aspirations and goals. And we enliven again three wheels. In this order, dark violet transformation, using the desire release. Then full rays regeneration, using the desire destiny. Then dark blue regeneration, using the desire freedom. Once we've finished that set, we move on to the third set. The third set is the physical related to the spiritual. Here, Lanta said, in this set, we find the development of the ability to transform the body into light. We enliven three wheels for this set. We begin with first rays progress, and we use the desire restoration of youth and vitality. Then the next wheel is the Sunrise Energy Regeneration Wheel. For this, we use the desire devotion. Then we conclude with the Light Violet Progress Wheel, and we use the desire balance. After that, we move on to the fourth set of relationship, the mental level as it relates to itself, the mental level. Here, Lanta said, in this aspect of the relationship of the mental plane of existence with itself, we find the, the awakening of understanding. No longer will our thoughts or actions be clouded by misjudgment. In this relationship, we enliven the recognition of truth, wisdom. So this is our fourth set, the fourth set of relationship, mental to mental. And again, we enliven three wheels. We begin with green progress. For this wheel, we use the desire support and understanding. After that, we use the wheel dark blue transformation, and we enliven the desire wisdom and awakening. After that, we then enliven the green transformation wheel using the desire shield. Then we move on to the fifth set of relationship. The fifth set is the mental level relating to the spiritual level. Here, Lanto said, all glories of the objective creation are open through the cultivation of this sublime level 
of relationship. Here, again, we enliven three wheels. We begin with the light-violet transformation. For this, we will use the desire purification. After that, we put that wheel back in the circle. Then we pick up the aqua blue progress wheel. And for this, we use the desire vision. We finish the, with that wheel, we put it back in the circle. We then pick up the aqua blue transformation wheel. For this wheel, to enliven this wheel, we use the desire miracles. Once we have finished with that, we put that wheel back in the circle of wheels. And then we move on to our sixth and final set of relationship. Now here, things change just a little bit because this sixth set of relationship is designed to enliven the ten beams of Genesis. Lanto said about this set, all values of creation fall under this most expanded level of relationship. This is the relationship of all values, the relationship of totality with itself. So for this, it is helpful for us to refresh our memory with regards to the 10 radiant beams of Genesis. This again is one of the handouts on this web page. The first beam to realize the full value of the light of Genesis in every individual on earth. The second beam to promote a peaceful relationship amongst all nations. The third beam to live in harmony and balance with nature. The fourth beam, to act in accordance with the laws of the universe. The fifth beam, to be friendly and compassionate to others. The sixth beam, to flourish in abundance, enjoying the full realization of one's intentions and desires. The seventh beam, to seek the highest knowledge. The eighth beam, to implement technologies to support health, longevity, and a sublime quality of life. The ninth beam, to achieve great things. The tenth beam, to enjoy. Those are the ten beams of Genesis, the ten radiant beams of Genesis. Now to enliven these ten radiant beams of Genesis for our sixth set of relationship, we will change our instructions just slightly. We still will be sitting within a circle of wheels. We still will have the pyramid and wheel of hope in front of us. We will still be sitting beneath a great seal of Genesis. And if possible, we will also be sitting above the chamber of eternal light. But now, instead of holding the pendant of eternal light in our left hand, we will now wear or put in a pocket or have near to us the pendant of eternal light. We then take the pocket seal and hold it in our left hand. In the right hand, we are going to pick up and hold a bio trinity. We have five different bio trinities and each one will be used twice in the enlivenment of the 10 radiant beams of Genesis. We will continue to use the creating technique to enliven these values of the 10 radiant beams. We begin with the first one. We will use the first rays bio trinity. So we hold the pocket seal in our left hand. We take the first rays bio trinity, hold it in our right hand. We use the desire light of Genesis. As you know, those 10 radiant beams can be long, so we will truncate them. We will make them shorter for our desires. And that first radiant beam is shortened to light of Genesis. We use the first rays bio trinity in the right hand. We use our creating technique, and the desire we use is light of Genesis. After a minute or two of this, we put the first rays bio trinity back we will then pick up the light violet bio trinity. And this will be for the second beam of Genesis. The desire that we will use to enliven this second beam of Genesis is peace. 
we will spend a minute or two enlivening this second beam of Genesis. Then we will put that bio-trinity back. We will pick up the pink bio-trinity. For this, we will be enlivening the third beam of Genesis, and we will use the desire, harmony, and balance. We will use the creating technique to enliven this desire, harmony, and balance for this third beam of Genesis. After a minute or two, we will finish, and then we will pick up the green bio-trinity to enliven the fourth beam of Genesis. We will use the desire, laws of the universe, to enliven the fourth beam of Genesis. We will use the creating technique, again, using this desire. After a minute or two, we will put the green bio-trinity away, and then we will pick up the aqua blue bio-trinity, holding it in our right hand to enliven the fifth beam of Genesis. We will use the desire, compassion. After a minute or two, we put that bio-trinity back, and we go back to the first rays bio-trinity where we started. Hold it again in our right hand, and we use this desire to enliven the sixth radiant beam of Genesis, abundance. After a minute or two, using the creating technique to enliven abundance for the sixth radiant beam of Genesis, we will put that bio-trinity back, and then we will pick up the light violet bio-trinity to enliven the seventh radiant beam of Genesis. We will use the desire knowledge. Again, using the creating practice, we will enliven this desire knowledge. Then we put that bio-trinity back. We pick up the pink bio-trinity. We will be enlivening the eighth radiant beam of Genesis. And for this, we will be using the desire health and longevity. After a minute or two, we put that bio-trinity back. We pick up the green bio-trinity, and this will be to enliven the ninth radiant beam of Genesis. We will use the desire greatness. Then we will put that bio-trinity back after a minute or two of the creating practice and we will pick up the aqua blue bio-trinity one more time. We will enliven the tenth and final radiant beam of Genesis. We will use the desire enjoy. Each of these will take just one or two minutes, and we use each of the five bio-trinities twice to enliven the ten radiant beams of Genesis. This is our final set, the sixth set of these six sets of relationship. This technique is very beneficial for you to be doing on a regular basis, but the sixth set, this final set, this Lanta said would be very beneficial for you to do on a daily basis after you have performed your creating, your creating practice for that day. So go ahead and go through the steps in the process of creating, go through your entire creating technique, then at the end of it, spend 10, 15 minutes enlivening these 10 beams of Genesis within yourself using this aspect of the sets of relationship. If you haven't watched the technique video for enlivening the 27 wheels of Genesis, go ahead and do that. That is a technique that is also valuable it takes quite a bit of time, so you may not be able to do that every day, but it is good for you to do that at least once a week. And of course, be sure to watch the other technique videos for other beneficial techniques that you can do on a daily or a weekly or even a monthly basis.